Hi, GW Green families and students. This video is going to be about some structures. So you're going to see new structures that were implemented at GW Graham for this school year. And these structures, the main focus here is to regulate the number of people that are going to gather in various locations. So we basically take our entire GW Graham secondary school and then we're going to break our school into four different sections. In the four different sections, we have our small learning cohorts. They're going to be the one class that students take for an entire five weeks. So I can go from the beginning of the day, give you a bit of a description of how it looks. And then remember, as I describe this, there's going to be documents on our website that can you can look at in your own time. And also for students, the opening week, we have time. We're going to be able to go through, describe things and how things are going and how it looks. So try not to make it a stress. We'll help you out and just work with us to make sure it's safe for everybody. So at the beginning of the day, our first bus arrives at 7.40. Our doors will not open until 7.40. When students, uh, after 7.40, you would have to arrive and go to the section that you have for that, that class. So if I have a student who has a class in our metal shop, then they are gonna be in their own section. They're gonna enter out the exterior door by our fields. So again, all students should know what class they have and what exterior door they're going to use. So now when you come into the school, you'll be able to go to your classroom. You're going to stay. Your work day will be within that section of the school. And then uh, there will be the morning break that the teachers will be able to have with students. There's also an afternoon break that they'll be able to have with their classroom. At lunchtime then, what we have is we've broken up. We have a staggered lunch. So each section has a half an hour lunch. And then when they are released for their lunch, Students do have an option. Again, they have to be cognizant of uh, social distancing. And when you're in our halls, any of our gathering spaces, you have to wear a mask. Uh, so when you enter in the morning again, when you enter to the school, you can bring your mask. And if you're on the bus, you, you need to have your mask. And when you come into the school, you'd be wearing your mask into the school. And then the mask would come off in your classroom, or you may choose to keep your mask on in the classroom. When you leave, go into the hall, mask goes back on. During lunchtime, the staggered lunch, so we have approximately 325 students that be able to go for lunch at a time. They have half an hour, and there is a slight overlap. Every 15 minutes, there'll be another group that will be released. And you, you can go off campus. I'm mentioning that if you do go off campus, it has to be fast. Go to your location, get your food, and come back. There's only half an hour, so there's not as much time we've had in the past. Uh, you won't be able to really stay around and and visit with friends at the, if you go off site for lunch. We will have food services here on site. We have our vending machine, which has sort of some snacks. We have our cafeteria here. I'll send out a menu to families so you can see the options, sort of some grab and go options. And then we are looking at some days in which, again, we'll be able to communicate to you as far as those options, whether that's a food truck or whether we use our cave. We are trying to spread out so we don't have students all gathering or lining up in one location. So that's our what we're trying to pull off there is stagger the lunch and provide different food options on site. Students get their food. The cafeteria will not be open because we cannot have students gathering around the cafeteria tables. You'd have your food and go back to your classroom or on our nice days, go outside and get some fresh air. After school, the school day is going to end at 2 o'clock. Unfortunately, we, we love having students around and just visiting friends and that, and I get it, but unfortunately, we have to treat this a little bit differently. If you do not have a purpose at school, we do encourage you to say, okay, you're going to go home now because we want our custodial team to be able to move in on our deep cleaning. But part of school is for sure that extracurricular activities. And Mr. Morris, our athletic director, is going to have some information about extracurricular opportunities. We're still going to have athletics happening at GW Graham. We're still going to have our music program happening. We're going to have theater. These are experiences that we want for our students. And we're working with our school district and our uh, school health and safety team to make sure it's safe so the students can experience those opportunities and experience their school day with their classroom teachers. A, a reminder that we are going to have some parent sessions on Zoom, parent and student sessions next week. And we also are going to have learning in class on the opening week to help people understand these structures. I hope that helped. We will give some actual videos about each section so students can see where if I'm in section three, where am I going? Hope that information helps for now.